hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm gonna to be doing my February favorites video. Literally every year I struggle to say the title of this video. It's very frustrating. That is the video I'm gonna to do today. I haven't got a load of favorites, but I have a few. So let me get started with the beauty stuff. Um, first of all is a foundation which I am wearing today. It's the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And I've been wearing this a lot recently because my skin has been really bad. Like you guys know, I really rarely get any kind of like spots. But um, as I mentioned on Instagram stories, I had, I had laser hair removal on my face, which is something I have a lot and it's always fine. But then I went to Miami, you're not really meant to go in the sun. I did wear SPF and then I had a facial with a brand I'd never tried the products from and it just broke me out straight away. So I've been getting like really bad skin on my cheeks. So I have been wearing a fuller coverage foundation and this one from Fenty Beauty is really great. The shade I have is ever so slightly too warm for me, which is a little bit annoying, but I do want to pick up another one in a lighter shade. It's just got really good coverage, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing a really heavy, cakey foundation. It looks really glowy and fresh on the skin. I use a damp sponge to apply it and I think this is a very good foundation, so definitely worth checking that one out. In the meantime, I'm desperately trying to fix my skin by just using very basic skincare, like I'm not using anything fancy, just a really simple cleanser and moisturizer and hopefully my skin goes back to normal because I normally have very easy skin, so it's very annoying. Got quite a painful spot on my jawline right there. As well as having bad skin at the moment, you guys know about my lips. I'm not gonna go on and talk more about them because you guys know I've been suffering from dry lips for a long time. But my friend Nadine Baggett, I think that's how you pronounce her surname, I will link her down below in the description box. She recommended trying the La Roche-Posay Cisoplast, Cisoplast, and I really feel like I've tried every lip balm ever, but I love La Roche-Posay and I trust their products, so I was like, okay, one more, I'll try one more lip balm, and this is amazing, guys. It, I think it repairs the, the barrier, the skin barrier on your lips or something like that. It does something different to other lip balms. Yeah, barrier repairing balm, and it really works. It, you know, they're not perfect, they're not back to normal, but this lip balm is massively helping me. I've already gone through a tube and I've got like two on backup. Really, really great lip balm. Definitely try that if you've got dry lips. Okay, the next product, I think I mentioned this in my December favorites video when I just got it, but I've already completely finished one. I'm onto my second and I can now confirm this is my all time favorite concealer. The NARS Soft Matte Concealer is great and I do still use that, but this, if I had to pick one concealer to use for the rest of my life at the moment, it would be this. It's the By Terry Stilo Expert Click Stick. I love the packaging. It just clicks up and comes out the bottom. It is very creamy, so I think that you will go through it quicker than a normal concealer, but it's so easy to use. I swipe it under my eyes, around my nose, on my chin. I can use a sponge to blend it out or a brush. This can double up as a foundation if you want. On days where I'm not wearing foundation, it definitely gives me enough coverage if I wanna put a bit on my cheeks. It's such a beautiful, creamy, gorgeous concealer. I wear the shade Three, which is maybe a little bit too warm, but the shade two is too light for me. They are difficult to get hold of. I keep going into Space NK and it's sold out. So I don't know if there's like a stock problem or something, but if you can find one of these, they are amazing. Okay, next for beauty, you guys know I went to Miami with Space NK and IGK and I love IGK. I tried quite a few products already that I've bought in Sephora last year um, and I love their dry shampoo and their texturizing spray. But after this trip, I fell in love with so many of their other products. Seriously, every time I try one of their products, I fall in love. It's amazing. It's probably turned into my favorite hair care brand. It's so great. So you guys know about the dry shampoo and the texturizing spray, but I thought I'd run through a few of the other products that I've just become obsessed with. First of all, the Hot Girls Shampoo and Conditioner. This is like a coconut milk. I think it's a coconut milk shampoo and conditioner. It's a hydrating one. It smells amazing, feels great on my dry hair. So those are really nice, a bit more like basic, but these products are incredible. So what should I do first? Let's talk about expensive. This is the High Shine Top Coat. So you use it like once a week in the shower as a conditioner and then you wash it out. And I'm not joking guys, I put this on my hair, I can leave it on for like a minute and then wash it out and my hair instantly feels so soft and silky and strong and amazing quality. I've never tried a leave-in conditioner that is this great. By the way, it says on the back, just to tell you guys, this the IGK products are vegan, cruelty and gluten free and petroleum and mineral oil free, paraben sulfate free. It's basically free of everything and it's still unbelievable and it smells good. 
don't know how they manage that. This product is amazing. The next one I want to recommend is the Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. This can be used on damp hair or dry hair. I tend to do it on both, but I really like to use it once I've curled my hair just to kind of make my hair a little bit PC and it gives it a little bit of hold. It hydrates it and styles it at the same time. And then if I'm wearing my hair straight and it's got it's a bit like fluffy and I want it to just look more hydrated, I use this, which is the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. And these are similar. This one's a bit, Rich Kid's a bit more of like a stiff formula and Mistress is more of a liquidy kind of creamy formula that you can just run through your hair and it just adds instant hydration. These products are so good. I'm so obsessed with them. It's kind of all I'm using at the moment. Okay, on to more random favorites. And this one first, I picked this up when I was at Soho Farmhouse recently. It's from the brand Soho Home and it's a mug and these are pricey, they're 10 pounds each. I wanted to buy four because we're not the sort of house that have all matching mugs, it's never gonna happen. Um, so I tried to get like two or four of everything so there isn't just like one of every mug. They only had two in stock, but I would definitely buy two more even though they were expensive. I absolutely love the color, the design. I think this is a really special mug. I know that sounds crazy, but if you're into like homeware like this, I think this is, it's the perfect size as well. Look, it's quite big but it's not too big, it's not too round. This is my actual perfect mug. I love it, I definitely wanna get more. The dream would be if all of my mugs were like this. But then I'd find another mug and fall in love and have the same problem again. My next random favorite is a radio station. I think it's a digital radio station. My sister introduced me to it. It's Magic Chilled. Now Magic, obviously everyone knows. And Magic Chilled, I was like, mm, I don't know, it sounds a bit boring. I don't know why they've called it Magic Chilled. It's not chilled music at all, it's basically like mid to late 90s early 2000 like pop music it's so good it's if you haven't listened to mine and anna's teenage throwback playlist i feel like it's all the best stuff from that playlist it's such a good radio station every time a song comes on i'm like oh my god i love this song so definitely check out magic chilled if you spend a lot of time in the car and then my last kind of style favorite is things with french slogans on it's become a real thing you guys know one minute you know about my Whistles t-shirt, the Je ne sais quoi one. I had this for quite a while and I love it. And recently, especially and other stories, I've just had an influx of things with French slogans on. And I didn't realize until someone commented the other day that I have quite a few. So this blue jumper from and other stories says Amour and I love the kind of rainbow letters on it. Then we've got this one also from and other stories which has Paris written five times in red really really like that another and other stories one i think this is all part of a collection for them says bon in yellow so into yellow at the moment and then this one is from Cezanne, which says dima deman dima deman don't know but again really like the kind of rainbow letters there so apparently that is a thing that i'm just into at the moment didn't realize kind of accidental not hating it this month has been so great and it's just only gonna get more exciting obviously the first week of march is when my book comes out and things are really kicking off now it's funny because my mom and my sisters and rich have all read the book and hearing their thoughts it's like getting my first reviews in my sister finished it and my sister's a real bookworm and she studied English at A level and I think she went on to do it at uni as well. So to get feedback from her, just she was saying like she thought it was brilliant and she thought that all ages could relate to it. So that was really nice. And then my other sister was also just blown away. She said she found that just saying like female friendship, she wasn't sure how much there would be to say about it or how interesting it would be. And she's like, you have to read the book to understand. She's like, I am now analyzing me and my relationships and my friendships. She's like, it's so relatable. I feel like you've traveled through my whole life journey of friendships. My mom also just loved it. And my family are really honest. They wouldn't just say this. They would definitely point out the bits they didn't like. And they have said a few bits that they were like, oh, I'm not sure that was necessary, but I understand why you did it. My mom was just so impressed. She's like, I think it's so relatable. I think it's so grown up. She was like, it didn't feel like a little girl writing a book about her friendship. She said it felt really, grown up and helpful, she like learned something from it. Rich is still reading it now as I film this video. And it's funny hearing from like a male's perspective because he's just like, you guys are mad. <laughs> I feel like with guys, friendships are just so black and white and with girls there is so much, it's so complicated. But yeah, it's really exciting hearing people's 
thoughts on the book. It's actually really satisfying after all the hard work just to hear what people think. It means so much to me. So I can't wait until you guys read it and tell me what you think. Basically March is going to be epic. I can't wait. And yeah, I'll be vlogging definitely for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Those are all of my favourites for this month and I'll be back again next week with another video. So I'll see you then. Bye.